folks, uh, Kathy Williams de Vries here, welcoming you to the 21st of 72 mini masterclasses on the Rose Etude. We're looking at number 21, um, which is the first study from book two of the 40 studies for clarinet. Lovely piece, this one. I find the uh, I find that the studies in the second book have more um, melodic interest than those in the first book. Um, and this is fun because um, we have a very interesting C minor section to go with the two outer C major sections. Um, so the main challenge I feel in this piece is the musicality, how much you can um, how much musicality you can draw out of the piece. Um, and it's at such a speed too where you can really work on your throat tones, getting them sounding nice either through covered fingerings or uh, just um, good breath support. And uh, you also get some practice with your left hand C as well um, in the C minor section. So without further ado, let's start playing. So in this case I would have the three fingers down for the G. there as well. And uh, I like to think this one phrase uh, kind of having two parts to it. I, I kind of tail off a little bit on the E and then um, start afresh on the D. So. to have really good support on those three notes. I mean my I find it a lot easier because I've got this um, bacoon barrel. And uh, then we elaborate on the phrase a little bit in the next four bars. Notice how I really tail off and then we start again and this bit can be a little bit warmer Uh, warmer still, uh, maybe a mezzo piano, it's not really marked, but um, so. And so, once you've hit the top D, tail off a little bit. there's no dynamics written um, you can not you don't really need to change the dynamic as much of the warmth of the sound I mean you may detect it as a mezzo piano but it's really just a warming of the sound so that from of the sound from the D E F sharp but then um, it opens up even more and then come back down again and then warm up And 
and uh, really open out and blossom here. <laughs> Because now we are going into the minor key and an MF and really plunge down to the, to the Chalamo notes before coming away. <laughs> almost go up to a forte so uh, the um, E flat to F sharps just delicious away a little bit so that we can start with renewed vigour on the G. So that we're really quite loud. And here just a just a, a um, undertone. And warm up here a little bit. And slow down a little bit because um, musically it sort of demands it. Because we're then. It's. it's um, it's different and I think it's elaborating on it's elaborating so and really lean on the F and take a little bit of time there because we're coming back into the beginning phrase so and then we elaborated on it slightly listen to the difference in the sound in sound between the covered fingering and this is without the covered fingering this is with it's a real dif difference so try and use your covered fingering as much as possible just the same as the beginning and really warm up here and blossom the trill I don't sort of it 
it's a bit like um, a, uh, a singer when they're developing a note they don't vibrato necessarily straight away especially if it's a really long note they'll just sing the note then gradually we, we get, uh, bring in the vibrato and that's what I like to do with my slow trills <laughs> next bit I love it it's um it's it's a very thoughtful bit um, you can bring it down to almost a pianissimo if you want to it's very introspective blossom on the and then it's a little bit introspective here and here make a difference between the trill and the shake So now I'll play it for you all the way through.
And there you have it, that's the 21st of the 40 Rosé HE Mini Masterclasses. Please join me next time.